Okay, hello, my name is Andy. So this is a two minute tutorial. Uh, it's going to be a bit longer than two minutes actually, but it just kind of sounded like a cool name. So uh, let's go to um, General Editor's Content Browser. Let's get a quick man in there without uh, the rude bits. Um, and so he is the size of a skyscraper for no good reason. Uh, but let's go to rigging. We're on rigging. Let's go to skin. Let's go to skeleton. Let's go to quick rig. So this is this is just a super quick way of doing it. Uh, so normally you would have to uh, do your skin weights uh, and all of that business. But because this is provided by Autodesk, I'm kind of guessing that I'm not going to have to fiddle with skin weights. So export selection. Let's do a uh, FBX. Um, and let's call it Sky Scraper Man. Okay, so export on a selection as an FBX. Okay, so it's not having that. Let's just go to that's so probably already my two minutes up. Export all uh, Sky. Okay, so it's because I put it in a weird folder. So uh, let me go to Dropbox. My uh, uh, new project uh, scenes. Let's go sky scraper man. Okay, so let's try it. That one. Okay, that's done it. So I'm going to pop over to Unity. So I've got the standard assets. This is uh, the standard um, third person character scene. It's got the little character called Ethan, which you find in the sample scenes here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and replace him. So the first thing I'm going to do is, make, as always, make my own folder so I don't get mixed up with all my assets. And I'm going to look for a Skyscraper Man. Let's drag him in. Okay, so here's Skyscraper Man. I'm clicking on him here. Uh, and I'm just going to check the rig. And so it's preset to generic. We want to change that to humanoid. Uh, and then we apply. So that's all fine. We don't need to configure. We've got a tick next to it. We could configure, but this is supposed to be two minutes, and I'm already at five minutes. So next, we want to, what we want to do is we want to drag him into the scene. Let's get him lined up. Uh, let's get him lined up over Ethan. I'm not entirely sure if this. I always do this. But I don't think I've ever checked whether it's necessary, but just for the hell of it, I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, so let's move him over there. Okay. Get him move forward a bit. Right, so now he's kind of in position, so let's get back to Ethan on the third person controller. I'm just selecting Ethan, which is the third person controller. Just get hold of all the Ethan material from here down to here and delete that. Goodbye, Ethan. So now we've just got a nudie man, so sky skyscraper man. Let's drag him down, uh, drop him under the third person controller. So we've got all of these problems here that have popped up. So what we want to do is with Skyscraper Man, we want to um, apply the third person. Sorry, we need to make sure we've got Skyscraper Man selected. Choose the third person animator controller. That's fine. Uh, okay, that's all good. So I think we'll note now. <clears throat> so he's got the idle animation, but we'll note that he slides around like an imbecile. So the other thing we need to do is we need to change this Ethan avatar to skyscraper. So this is the root of the third person controller. Its default setting is Ethan avatar. Let's change it to our character, which is skyscraper man avatar. And then let's hope for the best. So he's got his idol. And there we go. Little needy man running about with all of Ethan's animations. Happy days. How long was that? 10 minutes?